ladies and gentlemen, her. Are you kidding me? Stunning. Stunning. <gasps> what? What? Oh, wait, wait. What? Ooh, what? What? Oh, oh, no, no. Ladies, gentlemen, don't look away. Don't look away. We've got more what's in us. Trust me. What? 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 I'm overwhelmed by what? Hey, what's up? Hello, it's Katie Colson here. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be reading one of my most anticipated releases of 2022. And that is Gallant by V.E. Schwab. Now I'm a little confused on whether or not this is a YA or a middle grade because I think it's marketed as a YA, but everybody's been calling it a middle grade. And based on the way that it looks like, well, for starters, are you kidding me? I didn't even see that whenever I was looking through it the first time. I'm like so excited to read this. I'm obsessed. But it gives me very much like Sean and McGuire Wayward Children vibes, which I guess is a YA now that I think about it, but kind of reads more like a middle grade. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, this is supposed to be about our girl, Olivia Pryor, which that was so funny. Whenever Olivia got the book, I was like, from Olivia Reads Latte, I was like, you know, the main character's name's Olivia, right? Hello, we love a tie-in moment. Um, this is about Olivia Pryor, and she ha was sent away at a very young age to a girls' boarding school and has never been back home. She doesn't really know why, but one day she gets a letter telling her to come home, and she's like, say less. Like, she just wants to get out of the school. She doesn't like it, doesn't dig it. So she goes home, but the mansion, the Pryor mansion, is very mysterious, very eerie and dark, and seems to have a lot of secrets. And there is this dark figure that's kind of ruling over it, this master of the house. And she has to figure out like whether or not she wants to join him or fight him off to protect the family. And I'm very intrigued by that because based on like the look of these houses, and then also um, this says everything casts a shadow, even the world we live in. I'm kind of wondering if like, it's an alternate dimension, like a bizarro world or something where like maybe half the house is in one dimension and the other. I don't know. Like, I'm just getting that vibe. I'm getting the vibe that it's going to be two dimensions. Am I wrong? Maybe. But I'm excited to find out. I freaking love V.E. Schwab. Like, you can't really tell, but I have a whole shrine over here. There has not been many of her books that I have not given four or five stars to. So I am having a very hard time thinking that I won't give this five stars. I'm hoping for the best and I'm planning on reading it physically because it's such a stunning edition. And let's just jump into it because I literally can't wait. Hi! As you would have just seen, I was reading Gallant for the first time, just breaking in, and I read the first chapter, and so far, I really like it. I like it. Um, it definitely, it says it's YA, but it is reading more like a middle grade, or at the very least, like, the very young, younger side of YA, but I just love V.E. Schwab. I love everything she does. Even when I don't, I do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is uh, kind of the classic, her classic female main character that's like pale with dark hair and kind of a rebel and, you know, fighting against the system and the authority. And this so far, which I was not expecting, there's a couple things already that I was like, what? Like, so right now we're following this girl, Olivia Pryor, and it doesn't say how old she is, but I'm gathering probably like 15, 14, maybe 14. I don't know. Um, I'm just assuming that based on like, 
it says it's YA, but it's also kind of young. Anyway, we're following her and she is at this school called Maryland's and they're like the Maryland's girls. They're basically training them to become like maids, you know, to be the ghosts in other people's houses. But the two things that I was not expecting about this is one, she can't speak. And I don't know if she's deaf um, or no, like, she's not deaf. She can hear, like she can hear, but she can't speak. And, it, and it's not said why, but she cannot speak. And one of the matrons had taught her sign language before the matron like disappeared, but nobody else has bothered to learn it. So she can't communicate with anyone and nobody communicates with her. And they call her like the ghost of Maryland's. And she's like, well, that's fine because at least you're a little bit scared of me, like, LOL, you know? And there's that. And then there's also, it seems like she can see ghosts because she says that there's this garden shed that nobody goes into and that that's her place to escape. And that the girls will come in there and be like, this is creepy, I wanna leave. And they don't know why, but she's like, I know why. It's because of the dead thing in the corner. And it's like a floating eyeball or something. And I'm like, what? I'm assuming that she can see ghosts. Like that's just gonna be my assumption, okay? I don't know, but I am digging it. I really love this writing. And then also look at this stunning illustrations. Like this is giving me such Sean and McGuire vibes. Like this feels like a Sean and McGuire book, but as a novel instead of a novella. Like, are you kidding me right now? Stunning. I'm loving it. Okay. Um, I am going to, am I going to read another chapter of this or am I going to jump into another chapter of another book? I'm trying right now to do like a chapter of this book, a chapter of that book. Blah, 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 blah. So I don't know if you see me in this outfit and a lot of vlogs, that'll be why. But as of right now, I'm really digging the first chapter and I'm really liking this book in general. So we'll see how it goes. Schwab is that girl. She is that. Well, wait. I think she goes by she, they, but I don't. Well, actually, I don't know if they've said. Are they not binary? Used to go by Victoria Schwab and now goes by V.E. Schwab. I'm going to say she. And if I'm wrong, I'm very sorry. And I'm sorry if. I've done it ignorantly throughout this video. I'm going to say she because I, I don't think that she said what her pronouns, pronouns are. If she has and I'm wrong, I'm very sorry. But I'm going to say she for right now. V.E. Schwab is that bitch. Is that bitch. I am on page like 60. I got to chapter 6. I love it. I love it. I love it. I've already been highlighting. I love the like page. Let me show you. So there's like, we're not supposed to understand. Thank God Amy told me we're not supposed to understand. But like, see, this is the chapter that I'm on. But then when each chapter begins, you get this like, I love this. This one, it's like just this kind of lyrical, like, I don't know if it's like a letter that she's reading or something. I don't know. But let me tell you that I was going to read a chapter of this and then a chapter of the Book of Cold Cases and then Nine Lives and then Medusa. And I read three chapters of this, like could not stop. And then read one chapter of the Book of Cold Cases, really liked it, but I had to go back to this. And then I was like, okay, well, I'll read one more chapter and then I'll go and like do my laundry. And I just like, couldn't get up. And do it so I had to take the book with me and like was reading it while I was transferring stuff in I'm I'm just I'm obsessed I really like it I just think like I can't the nonverbal, which like we have discovered that she can't talk it's not that she doesn't want to like she she physically can't and I love how in-depth V.E. Schwab is being about it and I looked it up and she actually did a lot of research on nonverbal communication and the struggles that they that people that are nonverbal go through to be understood and to live in society and like it's done so well it's done so well I freaking love it and she just now got to um Gallant uh which is the name of like the mansion that the letter came from 
And I love that the summary of this book <laughs> does not do it justice. There's like so many more things going on, but yeah, I'm digging it. <sighs> I know I'm gonna read more tonight. I'm definitely gonna read it like at least another three chapters tonight, but I'm really liking it so far. Okay, God bless Patreon, God bless my patrons, the duchesses, the darlings, and Instagram, because I asked, I was like, I do not want to, like, say the wrong pronouns for V.E. Schwab, and I don't really remember, you know, if she ever came to a consensus, and they were telling me, they're like, yes, she goes by she the day, and I was like, okay, thank God that's what I just assumed, because, or maybe I have seen it, I don't know, but I was like, I do not want to miss pronoun, like, that's that's a no and i also want to say just as a given statement um from now until the end of time that i know that i am as well as almost every generation in the world right now um are very ignorant to certain things and i don't want to be ignorant and if i do anything that you like if i miss if i say the wrong pronoun in this video in any video for anyone any author any actor any booktuber anybody call me out and tell me because it will not be intentional. Like, and even though it's not intentional, like I'm not doing it intentionally, it doesn't mean it's not wrong. It's wrong. And it's okay for you to tell people that they're wrong if they're hurting people or if it's like constructive criticism. Like you don't have to be like, well, like, fuck you. Like you said her and um, she goes by them. I'm like, got it. You're absolutely right. I mean, you don't have to be rude about it, but like, I want you to call me out and you call me out every fucking time because I need to stop doing it. And the only way I'm going to stop doing it is by catching myself doing it. And obviously that's not y'all's responsibility to hold me accountable. But if you wanted to, and you were worried about doing it, do it, please. Because I, you know, I don't want to be that person. You know, I want to respect people. I want to respect their pronouns. I want to respect their lives and their choices, you know? And if it was me, I would want people to respect that. So going on a tangent, um, I got to chapter seven. I read one more chapter since I talked to you last and look at how cute this is. It's so wayward children, it's adorable. But I need to do some more vacuuming. I vacuumed my room and then stopped so that I could read because I just, I just vacuumed that little space and I was like, that's enough, let's sit down and read again. I am going to read another chapter before I start vacuuming again, but uh, I swear, oh, no, I'm not going to swear that I will vacuum because then I won't do it. I'll do something else productive today. I swear. Hold on. Hold on. I've got to tell y'all how much I'm relating to the names in this book. Uh, there is one of the matron's names is Beth, who was my roommate for like eight years and then, and was my best friend before that for like eight years, like pfft like almost all my life. And then um, the main character of this book is named Olivia, like my best booktube friend, Olivia Reed Latte, like the best bitch on the internet. And I can't stop thinking about Olivia when I'm reading this. I'm like, this is Olivia. Like it's not, but it is because she owns that name. Like nobody else can have that. And let's talk about owning a name. Olivia's mom in the book is named Grace. I, and if you don't know who Grace is, get off my channel. Like literally you leave me alone. Grace? What? I'm deceased. Like that is amazing. It's like every single woman in this book is related to me in some way. And I'm like kind of obsessed with it.
hello um it's a while later because i've been in like a physical reading not slump i'm not in a slump i just was really 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 into these audiobooks that i was listening to the themis trilogy the themis series whatever it is by um sylvain nouvelle the sleeping giants series so i read sleeping giants and i read waking gods and absolutely fucking loved them but every person on the internet and on goodreads says that the third book is a big disappointment so I'm not going to read it. But I picked up um, Gallant again. So I'm looking around. I'm in a high school parking lot. So like, there's a lot of people around. Um, why, you may ask? For starters, let me say that I've um, gotten to page like 115, I think. But I'm going to be reading this in the car because I'm waiting for Grace and her aunt and Sabrina to show up because we are going to go see... Um, the Little Mermaid that this local high school is putting on and Grace knows one of the kids that's in it. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to do that, but they are not here yet. And I have never been to this high school and I don't know any of these people. So I'm not going to go in by myself. I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to wait in my car and hope that they find me. So, I ended up getting like 30 pages of Gallant Red and I am enjoying it, but I think that I am my own deterrent, like I am my own worst enemy, is that it's taking me so long to read this book because, you know, listen, I'm just like in a big audiobook kick right now that it's making me like a little bit disinterested in the book, even though it's not the book's fault. Like every time I pick up the book and start reading, I'm invested. I'm like, yeah, this is good. I love the e. Schwab. But then I set the book down for like days and then I come back and I'm like, what was going on? Oh yeah, blah, blah, blah. So it isn't the book's fault, but this book is reading more like a four star than a five star in my opinion. I do think that the master of the house, like the God, Matthew, whatever, is reading like very <sighs> overly grumpy. You know what I'm saying? Like he's like, a little much, but I don't like dislike it. I just don't love it as much as I thought I would, but it is pretty good so far. But I ended up actually leaving during the intermission of The Little Mermaid because I do this all the time. I literally can't even count how many times I've left during an intermission of the play because I love theater. I've done theater for years and years and years. I love it. I love musicals. Like I love being a part of them. But if I'm in the audience, it's so hard for me to stay the entire play, especially when I already know what's going to happen. Like, I know what's going to happen a little more, right? Like, you know? Um, and it was really good. Like, I was so shocked that it was a high school performance. It was phenomenal. But after Poor Unfortunate Souls, I was like, okay, well, I already heard what I wanted to hear. And then it went to intermission. And I looked at Grace and I was like, I'm sorry, I'm having such a good time. But when it's over, it's over. Like if y'all have been on my live shows, you know that I'm in it. I'm like in it, in it, in it. And then all of a sudden I'm like, and I've got to go. And I just end the live. I'm like, it's just, that's it. Done. Like I'm done. I, I can't do it anymore. I've got to go. So I told her, I was like, I'm going to head out. Like, I'm sorry. I had such an amazing time. Um, but I'm not going to have a good time after this point. So I'm going to call it quits. Bye. And I left and came home <sighs> and it was so good though. Like I love that I went to see that. I feel like I watched an entire play, even though technically I only watched a half of it, but it felt like the entire thing. Like it was an hour and a half long that I watched and I saw the songs I wanted to see. So hello. Um, but yeah, I'm like 130 pages into Gallant and I am enjoying it. 
So we'll see how it goes and I'll hit you back up later with an update. Don't mind me, just did my skincare. So I'm looking glossy and frizzy. <laughs> we love to see it. So I have been sprinting for five hours. And while I did finish an audiobook, I have not read a single page of Gallant. Not a single page. And everybody's asking me what I'm thinking. Why is it taking me so long to read it? Like I've been reading this book for two weeks and I'm only on page 128. And I have no good reason. Like it's me, it's not the book, it is me. I just like, can't get myself to do it. I don't know. And there's like so many things that I need to be doing. I'm so stressed about this freaking computer, which by the way, they say now it's not going to ship until the end of June. Why are you tacking on an extra month? Anyway, I'm like literally so bitter. Can't talk about it anymore. Um, I'm like just freaking out about that. So I'm not just able to physically read this, even though I should be able to, because it is quite good. But the audiobook just became available to me while I was sprinting. And people were like, just listen to the audiobook, just go for it. And Amy, who loved it and gave it five stars, said, if you are listening to the audio, follow along with the book so you can follow along with the amazing drawings and everything. And I'm like, yeah, I definitely feel that. Um, as far as I was in the book, it was feeling like it wasn't going to be a five star, but it could possibly be a four star. So that's what I'm hoping for. I really want the best. I love the e. Schwab. I mean, I love all of her books, even if they aren't five stars. So I don't know. I'm going to start it again from the beginning on the audiobook, and then I'll hit you up later with what I'm thinking about the narration and the performance. Let's get to it. Okay, I am very much enjoying the audiobook because it reads so fast. Like, this is a day read for sure. You could read this in one sitting. I just was struggling reading physically, not because of the book, but because of myself. But I am already, let's see, on page 104, and I've only done like two sprints. And the audiobook is not fast for me. Like, I'm not feeling like the narrator's talking too fast. I have it on like 2.15, and it feels normal. And I don't want to go any faster because I'm like, I really want to enjoy this story. I don't feel like it is going to be a five star because a hundred pages in, I'm like, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, this is, this is nice. But not like, oh yeah, I want to know what's going to fucking happen. But there are a couple people on my Patreon um, sprints that are saying that the second half is way faster and way better. So I am very looking forward to that. We will see. But so far the accent is good. The characters are good. I am enjoying it, but not as much as I had anticipated. You know what I mean? Hello, we're in the freaking sunshine. It is the next day and delightfully, I got called out of work. Literally, okay, they do. there's one manager that does this thing where he will text every single person on the shift, no matter who it is, and says, the first person that gets back to me gets the night off. And I'm like, you hoes are not on my level. You hoes are not on my level. Because when I tell you last week, my iPhone alerted me that my screen time was 16 hours a day. Like, I'm not being dramatic. 16 hours a day. Literally, I responded, like, within a second. I was like, you hoes don't stand a chance. Also, I always have my phone on me because it's connected to my blood sugar, like, my Dexcom, my sensor. So, it never gets within, like, a couple feet from me. <laughs> Love to see it. Because they won't cut me if they think it's going to be me. Because they want me to work so I can, like, help everybody else. And I'm like, ha-ha, gotcha, bitch. But uh, I am blowing through Gallant, like literally blowing through it. That's as much as I have left. I'm on page 280 and it's so fast. The audiobook is so fast. I totally understand what people are saying by this being a really fast book. I just wasn't experiencing that because I was physically reading it. And um, that's just me personally having a hard time with that. I'm not like not physically reading at all. It's just right, you know, right now and with this book, um, feeling a little slow. And I do feel like the book is slow, but... I'm just not vibing the way that I thought I would. And I think the main reason for that is that this is absolutely a middle grade. I feel like it's marketed as being YA and people are saying it's YA and it's not. And Book Talk is saying this is middle grade and I absolutely agree with Book Talk. This is middle grade. Like, I don't feel like there's any part of this book that reads like YA. And I'm not a middle grade fan. Um, I think that V.E. Schwab does it very well. I think that um, if you are a fan of middle grade, um, but like a little bit of a darker undertone, I think that you will... Or like, if you like My Chemical Romance and you like, that sounds so bad, but it's not, it's a niche and it's what I should be in, but I'm not like, I'm not a fan of middle grade, but I am enjoying it, but not nearly as much as I thought. I'm hoping that this will at least get a four, uh, that this will get at most a four star, but it's reading like a three and a half. There's a lot about this book that I really enjoy, but it's just not slapping. 
it's not slapping. I really, really love the non-verbal elements of this. I think it's done very well. I really enjoy that. Um, but like, other than that, I'm just kind of like, oh yeah, that's okay. Yeah, okay, cool. Not deterring anyone from reading this book. I think a lot of people will give this five stars and absolutely love it. Uh, it just doesn't happen to be for me, I think. But I have, let's see how much I have left. If I'm on page 280, I only have until 334. So I only have like about 55 pages or so left. So I'm assuming I'm going to finish this before I even get home. Um, my water has been out all day. So I need to go. I wasn't going to go by Duncan, but then I was like, well, they can give me free water. I'm so annoying. I'm so annoying. Um, I need to go get water. And I guess I'm getting coffee. And I need to go by Goodwill. And I kind of want to go by the bookstore, even though I already did that. It's just something to do. It's just fun. And then I might live stream. I don't know. But I am planning on finishing this in the next hour. And I'll hit you back up with what I ended up thinking about the ending. All right. Well, let's do it. We went, we got our two waters, one's in the fridge. We also got our latte, which this Dunkin' Donuts literally puts so much milk in it. I'm like, there's not even room for ice. Like, I swear there's like this much ice. And I was like, just like, just like tone it back a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about, there was a little bitty something from Connie Lee from California in my P.O. box. And I was like, what better time to open it? Then right now, let's see. She's got a, wait, hold up, hold up. Oh my God, I already love it, I already love it. I already love it. What is this? It's like a, oh my God, she made this. Oh my God, wait, hold on. Katie, my quarantine hobby has been painting on coasters and I wanted to gift one to you. What better timing now that it's Easter season. I've really enjoyed all of your videos, vlogs, rants, Patreon stuff, and I am here for the chaotic energy. <laughs> Thanks. Hope you can use the coaster the next time you make a margarita. Bitch, are you kidding me? I didn't even think about that. I'm always using paper napkins as my coasters, and I can use this as... Done. Done. P.S. I love her, her P.S. is this entire page. I had to cut out the P.S. part because at the very end, she was like, please keep this part secret. So I'm very sorry. Um, so that's why I had that quick jump to. But Connie... Thank you so much. Like, this is so freaking cute and you nailed it. This is like the exact book cover. Like, I'm truly obsessed. Thank you so much. Like, I love that kind of weird stuff. But we are going to talk about the final review for Gallant. I could go put the hard, the dust jacket on it, but I'm not going to. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm going to give this three stars. 
It's like I want to give it at three and a half because there were parts of it that I really enjoy. Maybe I should give it three and a half. I want to give it three and a half because of the nonverbal representation, which I thought was very good. But as a story, it was a three star. I just didn't really, I didn't really vibe because it was very like slow and kind of boring to me. Um, I thought that it was okay and there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with this book. So I would definitely suggest it for people that would be into this kind of like middle grade story. But for me, it just really wasn't. Like, this is the same rating that I gave. Well, City of Bones, I gave three stars. But this, I'm going to give three and a half stars because there was elements of this that I did enjoy. Where City of Bones, I was like, I get why people would like this, but I'm just not that girly, you know? So unfortunately, I'm very sad that I highlighted in this book because I doubt that I'm going to keep it. And also, um, as far as the illustrations go, the, a lot of the illustrations are reused which I didn't really understand why they would do that. Like, what's the point of even having this art? Like, there's so many times where this piece is reused, and I was like, okay. I don't know. Anyway, I'm, it's not bad. The book is not bad. It's not for me. I don't think I'm going to keep this book. Unfortunately, I got a pre-order. I got a special edition, and I highlighted in it like a freaking dumbass. I'm a dumbass. Anyway, this did not end up being, for me, unfortunately, going to give it three and a half stars. And we're going to go ahead and do an outro for this video. So if you want to follow me on Goodreads or Instagram, they are going to be linked down below, as well as a link to my Patreon if you want to join the Smut Salon and all of the bunnies over there, because it is a chaotic good time, my dudes. And if you want to follow any of the other links that are going to be down below to help support this channel, you can do that. That would be amazing. And all of that to say, I hope you're having an amazing day, evening, night, dusk, dawn, whatever it is you're having in whatever part of the world you're having it in. And I will see you in a video coming very soon. Bye.